In this video we learn how the entropy depends on volume, pressure and temperature using Maxwell relations. Alright, so uh, in prior videos we have examined the sensitivity of internal energy with respect to volume and temperature and then enthalpy with respect to pressure and temperature and now we're ready to uh, tease out how the entropy depends on those three variables that are easy to control in the laboratory. So we're going to uh, try to write the entropy as a function of either volume and temperature or pressure and temperature. And of course the sensitivity of the function uh, entropy with respect to these variables is going to be provided by the first derivatives. Right, so notice that we have temperature in both of those uh, functions. So why don't we first focus on the, focus on the uh, uh, temperature dependence so that we can carry over then and understand volume and pe uh, pressure. All right, so we have already studied how the entropy changes with temperature. Uh, and that we did when we were studying uh, uh, changes in entropy when heating and cooling. So let me uh, refresh you about that. Right, so when you heat or cool, the change in entropy is simply uh, the change in the reversible heat over the temperature, but that is simply C differential of T over T. And this might have uh, a couple of expressions depending on whether you're uh, working at constant pressure or constant temperature. Okay, so if we now group terms right there, so differential of S over differential of T is equal to C over T, again, this might spawn a couple of expressions depending on whether you're working at constant pressure or constant temperature because the heat capacity uh, depends on the path, right? So we have here that then uh, at constant pressure that would be C sub B of T, and then at constant volume, that would be C sub B over T. Again, depending on whether you're uh, working at constant pressure or constant volume. All right, so this tells us how the entropy depends on temperature. We just have to look at how uh, the entropy depends on either volume or pressure as well. Uh, so let's take this, this expression. Uh, all right, we're gonna start with that first. And of course, uh, we examine the sensitivity of the function to the variables by looking at the first derivatives, right? So in this particular case, you're going to have a derivative that depends on the volume, constant temperature, and another one that depends on temperature at constant volume, which we already have right there. Okay, so let's uh, uh, use now the Maxwell relations to find the value of this one. Okay, we come to our menu of Maxwell relations and we find the first derivative of the entropy with respect to volume at constant temperature. That is this first derivative as well, but we've also seen that that is simply the ratio of the uh, expansion coefficient over the compressibility factor here, okay, or the isothermal compressibility. So then we find uh, that these uh, expressions are going to be as follows. So this turns out to be simply uh, the expansion coefficient over the isothermal compressibility and that one over here is simply going to be the heat capacity at constant volume over T. Okay, so this is a, a, a very nice dependence of entropy on either uh, uh, temperature or volume at constant temperature, temperature at constant volume. Again, that is how uh, Maxwell relations are very nice in that they allow us to understand how, you uh, how the, the entropy changes when you either increase the temperature or the volume, right? So notice that these quantities are positive, right? So what that means is that if you heat a substance, then the entropy of the substance will increase. And these uh, quantities are also positive, right? So what that means is that if you have a gas and you, uh, or, or a sample and you increase the volume, then the entropy is going to increase as well because that substance has more room to move and that makes perfect sense. Okay, so, so again, this agrees with our knowledge of how entropy should change with both temperature and volume. Let's then now try to uh, do something analogous, but with pressure. Okay, so we're going to just replace all this, but now looking at pressure. Okay, so suppose that we're working at constant pressure, the only change to this expression will be right here. Differential of pressure, differential of pressure, okay, uh, and that will be constant pressure as well. All right, great, so this is simply now the heat capacity of constant pressure over T. Okay, so that's a slight change. Uh, with respect to what we had for constant volume, but this then will be different. Okay, so again, we've uh, lo look at the Maxwell relations to identify what that uh, first derivative is, and we have it right here. 
Okay, so uh, Maxwell relations tell us that this is the same as this uh, first derivative, but that is yes, V times alpha. Okay, so notice that there's a negative sign right there, so this is simply going to be minus V alpha. Again, a very simple dependence of the entropy on pressure. Okay, these are all uh, experimentally uh, controllable variables or experimentally known variables, right? So the expansion coefficient, heat capacity, those are known, and these ones you can control. Okay, so again, very nice uh, dependence of the entropy on uh, the conditions here. Now, so let's examine uh, uh, this negative sign. Notice that the uh, expansion coefficient will be positive, volume is positive. That means that this first derivative is negative. Uh, and the implication is that if you have a sample and apply pressure, that means you increase the pressure, then the entropy should decrease. And that makes perfect sense if you consider now a gas, right? Because if you compress a gas, then you're restricting the freedom of a gas, the entropy is going to decrease, right? So that negative side uh, uh, makes perfect sense. Much as with the first derivatives for the internal energy and the enthalpy, everything that we have uh, derived here in this uh, video is universally true. It not only applies to gases uh, or ideal gases, it applies to real gases, it applies to liquids, it applies to solids. This is uh, always true. And again, that's, that really uh, uh, shows you how uh, beautiful, simple uh, this uh, dependence of the entropy is with uh, temperature, pressure, and volume, right? Again, these are all experimentally measurable uh, properties. And again, uh, uh, this makes uh, uh, this dependence of entropy and the variables to look very, very simple, and indeed it is. It's one of the beauty, the beauties of thermodynamics. Okay, so um, uh, in the next videos, we're going to move away from examining the dependence of state functions and the conditions. That's something that we have uh, done in the last three videos or so. And we're going to just uh, see a couple of final applications of Maxwell's, Maxwell relations in uh, writing what we call uh, thermodynamic equations of state.